Hello everyone, it's me Mohammed from Arabic with Barazi and this is a new episode. I know it's been a long time since the last video I made, but really I was ill, busy and I passed through gloomy days. So let's begin. Hello again. Before we start, I have to tell you that this video is supposed to be a part of a series that I'll discuss colors through it. So, in this series, we will learn so many things that related to colors, like how to pronounce the names of the colors in Arabic, how to use them as adjectives, we will learn also some common phrases that we use with colors, and finally, we will learn the implied and indicative meanings of each color in our culture. As a beginning, I have to tell you that when we want to use colors as adjectives in a phrase, then we have to know some roles that related to adjectives in Arabic. Like, first of all, there must be an agreement between the adjective and the color it describes. Secondly, Arabic is not like English. The, so, adjective must come after the name it describes, not before it. So, let's take an example to clarify what I said. Hisanun Aswad, a black horse. In this example, we are trying to describe the singular masculine noun, Hisan, or horse, as Aswad. So, the word Aswad, or black, is in a form that describes the singular masculine nouns. So, we followed the first role, which is the agreement between the noun we are talking about or we describe and the adjective. There is an agreement in the gender and in the quantity. The second thing I want you to notice in this video, or sorry, in this example, that the word aswad, which is the adjective, comes after the word hisan, which is the noun we are describing, not before it. Notice the difference between the RV example and its translation. Color, loan, loan, colors, alwan, alwan. And to make it easier for you, I divided colors in Arabic into two groups. The first one contains all the colors that had the same rhythm in pronunciation. And luckily, it contains all the major colors. While the other group contains the other colors. P.S. In this video, we will learn how to pronounce the name of the colors in the singular form only. While we will talk about the plural form later. The first form will be for masculine nouns. And the second form will be for feminine nouns. So let's begin. Black, Aswad, Sauda, Aswad, Hisanun Aswad, Sauda, Hakibatun Sauda, White, Abyad, Bayda, Abyad, Ritaun Abyad, Bayda. قطة بيضاء يلو أصفر صفراء أصفر كتاب أصفر صفراء زهرة صفراء بلو أزرق زرقاء أزرق قميص أزرق زرقاء سماء زرقاء Green, أخضر, خضراء, أخضر, عصير أخضر, خضراء, ورقة خضراء, red, أحمر, حمراء, أحمر, قلب أحمر, حمراء, وسادة حمراء. And now let's start with the colors from the other group. Brown. Bunni. Bunniya. Bunni. Itarun bunni. Bunniya. Tawilatun bunniya. Violet. Benefsaji. بنفسجية 
بنفسجي شعاع بنفسجي بنفسجية زهرة بنفسجية pink زهري زهرية زهري زر زهري زهرية وسادة زهرية This was everything for today. In the next video, we will talk about the plural form of the colors. We will learn how to describe the color itself, like saying dark, dark red and light brown, etc, etc. And we will learn a lot of things that I've talked about at the beginning of this video. So, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And don't forget also to tell your friends. See you soon, goodbye. Ila liqa.